not anything that you win in a popularity contest. You've got to earn your way there. I think it's about me. I'm all the way up. This is what we worked for all year last year. This is what we wanted. Uh, this is the, the end goal to every year is to be at the Classic and, uh, and we're here. This could potentially be the first day of a, of a life changing event, honestly. Yeah. And it will, it's going to change somebody's life, no matter if it's their first Classic win, their third Classic win. Um, it's, it's, it's that big of a deal here. So we're going to get after it and, and see what we can do. All right, day three of our pre-practice period for the Classic. You know, this event is different than all our other events. We're actually practicing a week before the, the tournament starts. It starts uh, next Friday. So we're just trying to get a feel for what's going on. We get one more practice day on Wednesday. It's an official practice day. We'll blast off just like a tournament. and. Uh, and we'll just try to kind of dial in what we learned in these first three days. As you can see today, it's a day that's going to test our mental toughness and our gear. I've got the warmest, driest thing I own on, and uh, we're going to just try to be productive today. I think as far as fishing goes, this is probably the best kind of conditions for this lake. It's really clear down here on this lower end. I feel like these nasty days are when they bite the best. So. Hopefully we'll get some found and get an idea of some areas that some big schools are living in. And uh, that's where we'll focus our practice on Wednesday. I mean, I don't care if they're small. I just want to figure out. Catch five really, you know, quick. Cause I'm gonna throw that big swim bait and I'm gonna catch two or three big ones. <laughs> I just found my starting hole because there is a pile in there for that. Dude, they're all bad. I signed up those other ones off. It's gotta be some big ones. It can always be worse. It could be uh, like 33 degrees in rain instead of 40. 40 is a lot better. Much better. <laughs> I've caught them fishing these docks like this on buzz bait in like 30 foot of water. Like, I mean, it's just, they're just sitting right underneath the dock, so I mean, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. I want to throw red crankbaits. Is that that new scent? Yeah, sensation to be released in May with the Drew Cook Signature Series Quarantine Crawl. Catch like a striper about that big yesterday in jerk bait. Yeah, I couldn't lift him and I couldn't grab him from the gills because he had the whole bait in his mouth. It was a cluster. I told you we catch one on this point. It's a bite-sized one, but we caught one. I 
Oh, it's actually bigger than the last one. It's actually not a bad one. God. I'd love to find somewhere during like the first hour of the tournament you can catch a limit of those. You know how dangerous you'd be after that? Yeah, I have like 14 pounds and then it's just crazy. There's so much timber in this place. And then the fish get on brush piles. Like, aren't you sick and tired of, of, of wood? And like, why would you not get on rock more than anything? You see like that 45 degree, I mean, it's just like a little stretch of it right there. Like that's the good stuff. Whenever I came here in pre-practice, I went and for a whole day, I just marked that stuff. And like the little stretches like that are the stretches that nobody will fish. Like they want to get on the bank and they want to go down the whole bank and crank. They don't want to go in between a dock and fish, you know, a 20 foot stretch. And that's where you catch a big one. Yeah, I haven't had hardly any bites either. Still. Yeah. Yeah, he did it. First time when I reeled it in. Oh, a couple of IRs there too. Tackle day. Rigging day. We've got 743 rods to rig. It is a... Uh, gonna be a very long day of rigging and we got media stuff to do we just went and did our little walk through at the uh, arena where we're gonna weigh in and uh, now we're coming back and we start on tackle we got lunch and then we'll come back out here and start working again on tackle and that's whenever all the the media people will come around we'll be doing interviews while we're doing tackle and stuff so Got lots to do. Lots to do. Mm. Mm. Think you might catch one on that? I think that might get a tug. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure, make sure Wayman's in the video saying that. <laughs> My bad. We are. We are, yes. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> My bad. Believe it or not, Wayman. It's working. It's heard about you, Scott. Cut line or something over here. Hey, that's it. You want me to go ahead and be full blown black red neck, go ahead and put a dip in, but I ain't feeling it. What are you going to win this tournament on? One of these 15 lures laying on the deck of your boat? Oh. Or one of the 19 rods laying over there? Anything, anything in this pile of trash you're going to win from? Or what about that pile of trash? Like, what is, get your life right. And I think. It's almost like you're about to fish the biggest tournament of the year or something. If I win, I actually don't even have one of them out. If I win the Classic, it's going to be on the four inch Tilapia Magic Fighting Pro. Okay. Same with, you can go look back at all my top tens, every top 10 I make because <laughs> of that bait, so. All right. If they do it, if they do what they're supposed to do, we'll catch them on it. All right. Or it could be something. Will you? Oh, uh, will you go out in the morning just like this, or will you clean any of this up? Yeah, no, it's clean. It's clean. Yeah, yeah. it's clean. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Me and you got a lot in common. <laughs> it looks like you're old seven three. That's it. Man. That's it. <laughs> awesome, dude. Good stuff. Less and less each year. Well, 
Wednesday is our last day of practice here for the Classic. A lot of things are changing. This is a very important day. You know, we've had about three days in the mid to upper 70s. Um, I think a lot of fish are going to be on the move. We're going to check some of the stuff that we found in our pre-practice period and try to expand on that and uh, kind of get them a little bit more dialed in. We tried not to get too dialed in anything specific the first three days because it's so far out. This is an important day for us. We're going to go out there and and it's going to blast off just like a tournament day. We're going to be due in at three just like we will be on Friday. And uh, we'll just get to see how the day unfolds on this big lake. Um, exciting week. We'll get it done. We get eight hours to uh, practice today. So we're just going to go check some stuff out, um, see what all has changed since we practiced. And I feel like it's going to change even more um, you know, with the weather we got coming. So we're going to keep after to see if we can't find the, the hammer hole today. Hi. <laughs> All right, guys. Day one of the Bassmaster Classic here on Lake Hartwell. Um, we just dumped the boat in. It's uh, 5:39, so we're, we're a little a little early. Um, but you know, had to had the morning jitters. You know, couldn't sleep, so. We're here, we're ready, we're about to get our rods out, get everything ready to go um, for the day. And this is this is what we worked for all year last year. This is what we wanted. Uh, this is the, the end goal to every year is to be at the Classic and uh, and we're here. We're about 41. Um, you know, it's a little cool right now, but we've got the weather getting right. Um, you know, the fish are, are pulling up. I don't know that there's gonna be any on bed today, but uh, I believe before this weekend's over with, they're gonna be scattered all over the bank like Easter eggs. But we got some little plan. We're gonna start out deep um, in a couple of drains, try to catch a few good spotted bass. And then uh, we're gonna go up shallow. We're gonna do a little bit of cranking, um, throw a big swim bait around, and uh, maybe get up in some dirty water, throw a spinner bait, chatter bait, um, you know, stuff like that. But it should be a good day. Um, it's a good day because we're here, but uh, you know, this could potentially be the first day of a, of a life-changing event, honestly. Uh, and it will, it's gonna change somebody's life, no matter if it's their first classic win, their third classic win. Um, it's, it's, it's that big of a deal here. So we're gonna get after it and, and see what we can do. All right, day one here at Hartwell, Bassmaster Classic 2022. Uh, got here early, tied up. Uh, excited to go fishing. You know, this is my fifth classic. I'm tired of leaving this event. Um, aggravated and mad. It's, uh, you know, there's only one place we want to finish in this one. There's no points. And we're going to get after it and go after it today. We got big stuff tied on. We're fishing for five bites. We're not fishing for a limit. And uh, if we get five of them, we won't have to measure them. So we're ready to go. Take 
take off, don't take a day off, not wasting no time. Can't focus on yours while I'm focused on mine. One day at a time, it'll be fine, I know. Climb to the top, then you reset your goals. We do not stop for a bump in the road. Countdown is running, I'm ready to go. So get you a seat and start watching the show. That, that legendary like a... I got three. Have you caught him? Cranking? Nah, I think it's too early. Have you been up? I don't understand what got so weird. God! I mean, you saw that two casts in a row. I know, smoked it. Another one on the bag. But look at him. I mean, dude, he's got it freaking to his butthole. That'll go. Have to make a move. Get something going. Gosh dang it. Why the... Better than number four that I have in there. We wrangle the bass. Mm -hmm. Nah, one pound. Yep. Right under the daggum boat. We got the limit. Dude, he wouldn't have came off ever. Yeah, two seven. Heart completely stopped beating. <laughs> See? When he hit it the first time, I mean, hammered it.
Bassmaster Classic here on Hartwell, and we did not have the day we were hoping for yesterday. We had uh, 10 pounds, 14 ounces, so we're, we're down there pretty good ways. But you know, the the cut right now is 14 something, so we catch us a you know 18 to 20 pound bag, make the cut, do it again, then you know make things interesting. I really don't know what happened yesterday, honestly. It was like a lot of the fish that I. Uh, that I was fishing for weren't, weren't there anymore or they got really small. Um, I did notice that some of them had moved further back in the pockets and stuff, so we got a little idea of what's going on, so we're gonna change it up today and see if we can't catch some of the old great big ones. Um, you know, this is a phenomenal place. I've, I've done really well here before. Um, maybe we can keep the street going and, uh, and have another good day. Yesterday. Yesterday I caught uh, one or two, almost all spotted bass. Yeah. yeah Any no big, big ones? No big one. Maybe large ones, two pound I think. No good. Spotted bass are pretty good one I got, but nothing, nothing. Yeah. Today all spinning rod. <laughs> it was all spinning right yeah. yesterday. I don't need no bait caster. <laughs> no. I like it. All right, day two here at the Classic. Uh, dug ourselves a pretty deep hole to dig out of. Uh, you know, started the event with a goal of, you know, being in contention to win. And now the goal is to not work the expo tomorrow. So we need us about 17, 16, 17 pounds to give us a shot. 18 is even better. Um, we're just gonna go practicing today. We're gonna start to some grains that we know some fish are at. If we can get a couple to get us started, good. If not, uh, we're gonna roll with it and uh, fish in dirty water with a bag of crankbait. The Sunny Bee um, did most of my damage yesterday and I put it down and uh, went hunting a big bite and it never happened yesterday. So we're gonna keep them on the shallow and uh, see what happens.
bones. Get better with time, read your wrongs. Invest in yourself, it won't be for long. Now you the one who the reach is on. Fire a little bit. Gotta lead yourself if the need is wrong. Keep it going till your need is gone. Reach your goals, beat your foes. Wake them up, they will sleep the most. Used to be a ghost, now they coming close.
get her. Send the church and when we speak to suburbia. All that ghetto gangster talk is disturbing. It's sorry, my past and my present are fiend. Ain't at the sweet of the meat. Well, who is there fishing and racing with the school? I said, well, who is there fishing and racing to make some racing to the school? Get down there. Get down there. Get down there. They look up to me and they ask how I did it. I tell them it's God and it's God is my witness. I played in my talent and give away millions. Get rid of ghettos when my people live in where all of my children can get education. All of my cousins can stop medicating. Gotta keep moving and no I just can't catch any good ones. All these classes I'm making. Jumping, jumping, jumping. I knew there'd be another one there, but hammer handle. How y'all doing? Oh, all right. Need a couple big ones. I don't know if this one will help me. Ain't no way, I don't think. Drew in sixth place right now, and you gotta hope it's enough to stick around for 
sponsors. They, they've been behind me since day one, and I appreciate every one of them. I appreciate my family and my friends who traveled all the way up here. You know, my mom shared a, a Bible verse with me this morning. It talked about God telling them to cast on the other side of the boat. And about 1 o'clock, I was fishing down the bank, and I just went over there. And it didn't work for me this time, but maybe it'll work for me next time. <laughs> so uh, we'll just get after Miss Santa. I think it'll be my style. And uh, as long as we don't have, you know, some 18-degree weather or something like that, I'm excited about that. Looking forward to seeing you there in all season long in the Elite Series. Five fish all alive. 17 pounds, 9 ounces. And finally, Christy conquers the classic. It was not very good. I thought it was going to get better. It got worse. Thoughts on the week, Mr. Benton? Cobb said, Cobb, who lives here, said, catch 12 pounds on the Hartwell. You didn't suck, but you didn't do great. That's kind of what I did. It <laughs> feels like I sucked. <laughs> yeah, this week we sucked. So, Santi Cooper, you're going to bust their heads in, right? Yes. Very, very mad at them. I hope I look at every one of them. And I hope they are the dumbest bass in America. If we don't have a cold from Santi Cooper, Maybe up there with Wade of Lake Fork. 